these are chicken eggs. And what I'd like you to do is compare the eggs on the left with the eggs on the right. Is there any difference? Are these a little larger? No, they're not. There isn't any real difference. They look pretty much alike. Let's open them. Now, any difference between the eggs on the left and the ones on the right? Are some of the ones on the left a little lighter? I'm not sure. Maybe some of them are. Well, I can't see any difference. Just looking at them, there's very little difference. But eggs like the ones on the left cannot become chickens. Eggs like the ones on the right can grow into chickens. The difference is that these have a tiny white dot on one side of the yolk. And that means they've been fertilized by a rooster, a male. Hens are females that can lay eggs. A rooster and a hen can mate to produce fertile eggs. Then the hen sits on her eggs to keep them warm and moist while the babies grow inside them. How warm do the eggs have to be? The thermometer reads slightly more than 38 degrees centigrade. We can keep the same temperature in a machine, an artificial incubator used to hatch eggs. The temperature is 38 degrees centigrade. Now that's about 100 degrees Fahrenheit, a little warmer than your body. Water in the incubator keeps the eggs moist, like a hen's body does. Now, what do you think would happen if we keep the eggs at 38 degrees centigrade, but we put them in water instead of out in the air? They'll spoil, won't they? They won't hatch. Well, let's see. Look at an egg shell. It's not so smooth, is it? Take a very close look with a powerful microscope. It looks like a pile of stones. Like it's full of cracks and holes. Yes, there are holes. Tiny microscopic holes that air passes in and out of. Without air, the baby chicken would die. That's why there are holes in an incubator, to let air in and out. And there's another thing. When we hatch eggs in an incubator, we turn them over every day. A hen does the same thing when she hatches her own eggs. In either case, under a hen or in an incubator, it takes three weeks for a chick to grow and hatch. What do you think is happening inside the egg. Draw some pictures to show me what you think is happening. Well, what I think is that the yolk is the part of the egg that gets to be a chicken. The white spot on the yolk is the eye. Then, in three weeks, the yolk gets to look more and more like a chicken. The beak gets pointed, and the chicken moves around and cracks open the shell. I don't think that's right. I think part of the egg white sticks to the yolk and gets to be feathers. Then the yolk and the white all together get to be a chicken. Wait, I've changed my mind. Now what I think is that you start with the yolk. But the yolk doesn't change right into a chicken. First it grows a heart and veins, and it gets to have blood. But even then, it doesn't get to be a chicken right away. First, it looks like a fish or a seahorse, with its tail all curled up and with feathers starting to grow. It looks more like a bird. Is that right? Yes and no. All your explanations are partly right. Let's study a fertilized egg. You tell me what you see as we watch it for several days. Well, I see the spot on the yolk. The egg is one day old. 
Now the spot is bigger. Now it's two days old. The spot is bigger, a lot bigger. Now it's three days old. Those dark lines, they look like veins, like a web of veins. Is something moving? I think I see something moving. It's four days old. Yes, something is moving. That must be its heart beating. Wow, I didn't think that much would happen in just four days. It does. Remember what it looked like four days ago? This living, growing chicken. We call it an embryo. This embryo, with its beating heart, with blood, with life, was only a little spot on one side of the yolk of an egg. Nothing but the spot is alive. So, you see, the spot is the embryo that becomes a chicken. While the embryo is changing, you may wonder what's happening to the yolk and white of the egg. Well, even after four days, when we have a living embryo with a beating heart, the yolk is still there, and so is the white. The embryo is still small. The blood vessels of the embryo cover part of the yolk, but the shape of the yolk doesn't change much in four days. What's in the shell is mostly yolk and white. The blood vessels are spread out on the yolk. A microscope shows that blood flowing through the vessels picks up tiny drops of yolk. Drops of white mix with the blood too. It looks as though the yolk and white may be food for the embryo, food that is used up as the chicken grows. We can do a demonstration to help us watch the growing embryo. We'll look at it under a microscope. First, I'll carefully cut the embryo from the yolk. The embryo is on the thin membrane. Is it still alive? Well, we're going to see. The membrane with the embryo can be picked up in a spoon. Now I'll transfer it to a glass dish. Food is dissolved in the water in the dish. Food that is a lot like the material in the yolk and white. Now let's look at the embryo through a microscope. The tail. The spinal column. The beating heart. The embryo is still living, kept alive by the food we put in the dish. In the egg, the yolk and white provide its food. In three weeks, the egg hatches. The chick is old enough to live outside the egg. It's using its bill. 